This is about to be a 2024 launch. This is a five part series where what we're going to do is we're going to talk about five topics that I believe are going to help you take your money game, your mindset game and your success game to the next level in 2024 all completely free. All year long in 2024, I'm gonna be using the domain name Learn From PK as a registration page to a ton of free webinars with only 500 slots available. These are not necessarily all going to be investing related or all finance related. These are gonna be success related webinars that I can simply not wait for you guys to have access to go to. Now today, as you guys can see on the screen, we're gonna be talking about goals. And really what I wanna talk about with regard to goals is not only how to hit them, but how to set up goals. Because I think defining goals is oftentimes more important than what you do to get there. Because if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. So to start guys, I want you to understand a goal is simply the end towards which effort is directed. Our goal in life is to do something. It might be to make a bunch of money, to impact a bunch of lives, to get a dream job, to get a dream house. Whatever your goals are, we have a direction to go towards. And today, that's what we're going to talk about. This is you on the bottom left corner. You, for all intents and purposes, are sitting there smiling. And your goal is to reach, as you always know, you're going to reach for the stars. You're going to reach for the moon. And you're going to reach for these things. But sometimes I feel like we're lost. We don't necessarily know what we're targeting, how to target it, what to even do. And that's what I want to explain in this first video of five to make sure that you understand how to go from here, which might be at a, you know, a, a current level. We'll say, let's say right now you're at this level. And in order to get to this goal, you need to get to this level. And that might be financially, that might be spiritually, that might be physically. I don't know what it is for you, but that's what we're going to spend today talking about again, which is just talking about how can we get to this moon? So before we start, I want you to know that you must be great at defining goals. In this case, your moon, you must get really good at defining what your moon is. What are you actually targeting when you're listening to this? This might be late 2023. This might be early 2024. Heck, this could be 2026. The point is right now you're thinking, I want to accomplish X or Z or whatever it is. And I want you to learn how to define that. So before I begin on defining that, I want to share with you guys a story. I was in a marketing class in college. I have my bachelor's in marketing. And what we learned about in college was the SMART acronym. Some of you guys may have heard it before. It's how to define goals and it's S-M-A-R-T. And this is what it stands for. It stands for specific. That's the S. The M stands for measurable. The A stands for attainable. The R stands for results oriented. And the T stands for time bound. But I want to ask you guys a question because I had a problem with this. Even though I passed the exams when they asked me that question, I had a problem with the way this was set up. Do you think in 2014 that I thought the life that I have now, the relationships I have now, the houses, the cars, the life was attainable at that time? No, I didn't think it was attainable. And the reality is I think what we do as human beings is we think about our goals in terms of what we've accomplished in our life. When we set a goal to make a hundred grand a year, we may have made 50 grand a year or 40 grand a year or 60 grand a year. I'm like, Hey, I want to make a hundred grand a year. We're not setting a million dollar a year, a year goal because the smart acronym says attainable. And we don't think that we can attain a million dollars a year. So the first thing I want you guys to understand is in terms of this smart acronym that everybody uses for goal setting, I believe that is the first thing you need to get out of there. Your goals should be specific. They should be measurable. They should be results oriented and bound to time, meaning they have a deadline, but attainable is so subjective because your goal, think about this for a minute of making a hundred thousand a year. Other people are barely surviving on a hundred thousand a year. Your goal to make 
an impactful, an impactful change or gain, um, say hundreds of clients in your business, whatever your goal is, you might right now think, Hey, that's not attainable to me, but to another person, that's a bad month. See, all I'm trying to say is attainable is only relative to your current level of success. And what I want you guys to understand is if you can attain your current level of success that you believe is attainable, but then you can think, man, I don't think I can attain a million dollars a year, but I'm going to target a million dollars a year. That's how your goals should start to look. So what I want to talk about is our moon. What is your moon? And, and, and listen, you can do as many as you want, but I want you to write down on a piece of paper right now. What are your goals? You know, is it a money figure? Maybe that's per month. Is it, you know, I want to lose weight. Is it, I want to visit family. Now you can write down as many as you want. My, I'm encouraging you to pause the video and write down as many as you can think. What are my goals? It might not be for the new year. Maybe it's for the next 12 months. It, it, we don't have to wait for a new year to go get some goals. You don't have to wait till January one to change your life. You can start right now. That's what I want you to understand. And so, Write down these, you know, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I don't care how many you've got. Write down your goals. And now, what I want to talk about with you is some of the really crucial things that I've learned from some mentors, specifically in college, with these goals. Again, write down as many goals as you possibly can. Pause the video if you haven't. Think of your goals. Write them down. And now I want you to answer this question: How many do you have? Count them up. 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 50. How many goals do you have? And whether you have one goal or 50 goals, I want to share a story with you. I had a professor in college. And this professor in college told us that he was able to get mentored and work with people that were around Warren Buffett. And one of the things that he had taught us in college was that Warren Buffett said to him that however many goals you've got, you probably need to condense them. What I mean by that is a lot of people have 50 goals going in the new year. What are the goals? I want to go on a walk every morning. What are the goals? I want to eat healthier. The first thing you want to understand is you have to figure out what is actually important. Imagine I've got 50 goals and I go through and I'm like, spend more time with friends. I want you to switch your thinking right now. What is actually important for you to accomplish the next 12 months? Nobody got good at being good at 50 things. I want you to say, I only have five goals that I can have available to look at and target for the next 12 months. That's it. You only have five. Quit writing down 50. You only have five. I want you to condense however many you have into five specific goals. Now, speaking of those goals and how specific we want to get, I want to talk about the goals that really matter and how you should write them down. Remember earlier I said make $10,000 a month or I said lose weight. Let's take that lose weight as an example. Person A is over here in purple and they say lose weight on their goal card. Lose weight. Person B, I'll say is a higher achiever. They're in green. They're over here. And guess what they write? They write the same goal, but here's how they write it. Lose 25 pounds by May 1st. That is what a good goal looks like. Because when we think about our smart system, remember, get rid of attainable. We have SMRT. We're specific here, right? Very specific. We can measure it by the weight. It has a result and it's time bound. You see over here on the left side, we're not specific. Lose weight, what does that mean? How much weight? Measurable, we can measure losing weight. We've got one, results oriented, where's the result? How much weight is the result? One pound, 10 pounds, 100 pounds? Time bound doesn't exist over here. That means this goal checks off all four boxes and this goal only checks off one. There are so many people right now writing down goals like this. Yet, if we write down goals like this, 
it keeps us accountable. Because now what you can do is you can backtrack into that. You can go back into that and say, if I need to lose 25 pounds by May 1st, then this is what I need to lose each month. Oh, this is what I need to lose each week. And now I can start getting on the, on the, on the, uh, the scale every single week and looking at that and starting to measure that. This again, guys, is an exercise that I like to do every single year. But again, to recap this, you need to condense this to five items. Very specific, what do you want this year? But I'm gonna put you into something that not a lot of people talk about. Everybody always says, what do you want? Most people don't know what they want. Most people, one day they wanna be rich, then the next day they say, I like work-life balance. Most people say, I wanna be the next really healthy fitness influencer, and the next day they say, you know what? That's all a facade, that's all fake, I don't wanna be healthy. I wanna relax. People don't know what they want, and honestly, if that's you that goes back and forth and back and forth, my question for you is, you need to have that conversation with yourself, how bad do you actually want it? Because some people just don't want it that bad, and that's fine, this is not the topic of conversation for you in this. So, with that said, I want you to put these goals somewhere that you're gonna see every single day. That might be in the car, that might be on a mirror, that might be on your phone background. For me, what I do, is I put them on a sticky note on my desk. And I can tell you this, anybody that comes in my office and looks at my desk will see a sticky note and it'll have between one and five goals on it for that period of time. And that is because that is all I give a shit about, is that one, two, three, four, five goals. I don't have 50 goals because I can't focus. I need to focus, hit a goal, move on. And that's what I want you guys to focus on doing this year. But my question for you is, how many of you guys have financial goals? A lot of you guys follow me all over social media because of money. You wanna learn more about money, budgeting, investing, all these sort of things. So you might have a financial goal. And before we move on, I want you to ask yourself a question. Did you hit your financial goal in 2023? That's it. Some of you guys are saying, oh, I did pretty well. Well, was that your goal? To do pretty well? Because some people, they did well, but they never had a goal. Some people don't have goals. Other people, you say, no, I didn't. Okay, let's look at that. What did we do wrong? Where did we go wrong? Work ethic, work-life balance, family life, lawsuits. I don't know what came into your life. What caused you to miss? You have the ability right now, listening to this message, to flip. You can start right now. You don't have to start at the new year. You don't have to start in the new month. You don't have to start in the new week. Everybody always says, oh, I'm gonna start this next week. I'm gonna start this next year. You're never gonna start it. And you've probably done something in that cycle probably dozens of times prior. How many people that start next week have started next week for the last 15 weeks? They continually start, but they never finish. They never follow through. As human beings, we are so good at keeping promises to everybody else. Your buddy calls you and says, hey, can you be at my house? at four o'clock to move the fridge? Or the, your girlfriend calls and says, hey, can you be at my house and, and help me with this? You're over there, like a heartbeat. You're there early. But the moment you make a goal, which is a promise to yourself, of losing weight, making more money, being more spiritual, being with your family more, whatever it is, suddenly it's not as important. Why are we so good keeping promises to everybody else but not ourselves? I want you to question why that is and keep promises to yourselves going in to this new cycle, these new 12 months. So with that said, guys, this concludes the first, which is really just intro level stuff of these five videos that I wanna do with you. This is goal setting. This is how I think about goals. What I want you to do is take some time to sit down and really focus on what you want going into these next 12 months. Write down the only goals that you care about. Five max, one minimum. What do I care about right now that's gonna get me to the next level? Really focus on making them extremely specific, results-oriented, time-bound, all these sort of things. And remember, attainability should not be in question right now. You might not think that that $250,000 a year is attainable. You might not think that 25 pounds this year is attainable. But that's because you're comparing based off your past results. And in order to get new results, you have to become a new person, new belief patterns, new behaviors, all of these things must change, and that's what you're gonna do going into the new year. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe and click like if you want more videos like this, and we'll see you on the next video.